If you are who you know you are, then have no fears. Oh, 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 yeah. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in today. Life is so simple, you guys. Yes, it is. Just don't ever forget who you are. You know who you are. You're a king. You're a queen. You're a child of the Most High. You can accomplish anything you put your mind to. Yes, you can. Oh, so I'm just here to give you a friendly reminder for those that want to listen who, who don't. It's okay. Keep living your life how you are. And uh, maybe one day uh, someone will be able to share with you how great you are. But don't ever forget who you are. Reach for the stars. And then don't let no one hold you down. Especially ourselves with our thoughts and our mind. And how we feel with our emotions. If we woke up today and uh, we're not laying on a hospital, hospital bed, we are already winning right there. Okay, you guys? And uh, life is so simple, but I tend to make it harder. I do. I do. Each and every one of us tend to make our life even harder. Oh, yes. And I'm, I'm talking from personal first-hand experience, you guys. My happiness is my responsibility. My future is my responsibility. If I'm uh, in a bad relationship with somebody, it's my responsibility. And even if that includes me and the way I'm thinking and how I'm feeling and, and what I'm focusing on and the vibration I'm giving on, the frequency that I'm giving off, if I'm emotionally in alignment with the spirit of abundance or if I'm in alignment with, emotionally in alignment with the, with the spirit of lack and, and blaming others and being negative, which I used to be, don't get me wrong, I was for many years. Then finally, I surrendered. On a beautiful day, I surrendered. And uh, I got on my knees. And I told God, the creator, I, I, I asked God, I spoke to God, the creator, the creator of the full moon that's behind me. The creator of this earth, the creator of you and I. I said, God, I'm sorry. I've been wrong this whole time. I've been so negative and uh, my way leads to no way. Your way is the only way. Your plan is the only plan. Your plan is the master plan. And it's all in your time, not my time. Then because of that decision by me surrendering, I've been able to let go of things that I didn't need to hold on to, like emotional pain, right? That makes life even more simple. Like uh, habits and rituals that I didn't need, that makes life even more simple. Like focusing on the fact that today we're on the we get to live list. We're alive today. There's a full moon tonight. There's going to be a full moon this whole weekend. And we get to experience that change of energy. Right? And that's a plus. But if I was focused on poor me, poor me and stuff like that, then I wouldn't be able to enjoy the simple things in life. Now, yesterday... I was in a little get-together. Me and Pumpkin went to this little gathering. It was a beautiful gathering of brothers and sisters who had stories and success stories and triumphant stories, overcoming stories of situations when things were going hard in their lives. But it was all because of our own decision-making, poor decision-making. Then we decided, you know what? We're done. We surrendered. Then we turned our life around. Okay? Then after that, going to the gassing station, I met David. What's up, David? How you doing, brother? He was so excited. It's about 10.30 at night. And he was full, filled with energy, positive energy. And he was like, life is so simple. I just want to be walking through the park, through the woods, and, and, and talk to squirrels. And he's working in aerospace. And he's enjoying his life. And I met another, another brother, just uh, Kevin, I think. He came back from Thailand. And he owns a couple businesses. And he's going to take care of his family. He paid off all his debt. He's not in no financial crisis. He did, he did things right. But he had to do things wrong at first to learn to appreciate the simple things that life brings us, right? And when we take responsibility, that's what it's all about. Then, a little while ago, I met Francisco inside of a Walmart. And he's stocking stuff. And I go talk to him. Hey, man, how you doing, champ? We make a mess and you clean it up. He's like, no, nah, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It keeps us busy. And that's how it is. And plus, I'm being responsible, I got to take care of my family. I have a 15-year-old child. I said, that's right, brother. I gave him my business card. Hopefully, we'll sit down and see how I can help him better his life and the life of his family. And what you said, Francisco, and what we're all saying is taking responsibility. 
So I've been in bad relationships. I've been in bad relationships with myself. I've been in bad circumstances because of the choices that I made. But the moment I surrendered and gave my life completely back to God, then I'm able to learn and appreciate because one day I am going to be in that hospital bed when I won't be able to go outside and look at that full moon that's behind me. I won't be able to feel the breeze, the cool breeze. I won't be able to, to walk. And then one day it's going to be my last night and I'll be in the hospital bed and I'm going to be on the list of this is it. You're done, Polo. So what, what I do from now to then, if I want to blame others, or if I want to take responsibility, do I want to live with appreciation or do I want to stay angry? No. I'd rather find what my purpose is, which is change my life and those around me who I love for the betterment and make a difference and use whatever obstacles my way to learn from them, rise to the occasion. Because it's only going to get harder, you guys. Things are coming our way in 24. And if we don't prepare mentally, physically, and spiritually, Dude, we're going to be left behind. And it ain't going to be my fault. It ain't going to be no one else's fault. We have a lot of brothers and sisters that are awake. And each and every one that are awake are stronger than millions of, other, of, of our other brothers that aren't. And we're going to be praying. Praying for all of you guys. So don't forget who you are. Shoot for the stars. And don't let no one get you down. No one. Especially yourself. Like I did for some time. But now I'm back, reincarnated. That's right. Glorify God. And transmitting peace, love, joy, happiness. And choosing to be emotionally in alignment with the spirit of abundance. That way I can open these spiritual doors, these realms of unlimited possibilities and opportunities to be of service and help others. And it, and it, and it, it takes a lot of dedication and discipline. It takes a lot of times me walking by myself and talking to God and talking to myself and letting go of what I don't need to hold on to any longer. Because it already caused me enough pain. Me and my family a lot enough pain. I am legally blind, you guys. I can't see the moon behind me, but I know it's right here. Right here. Why can I do that? And I'm legally blind. Oh, man, if I don't use my cane excuse, I don't think no one else should use any excuse. If you're in a bad place in your, in your life, well, guess what? Get up, dust yourself off, and let's get it going, you guys. Because life is so simple. It's just us who make it harder. All right, you guys. You guys be safe. Let's get it done. Let's knock it out the park. Five, four, three, two, one. If you are who you say you are, then have no fears. Shoot for the stars. And don't let no one bring you down, especially yourself. Because God is waiting to build you up, pick you up, and have you in the palm of his hand and show you the life that you deserve. But it requires initiative, surrendering, and taking responsibility. Thank you.